everyone! Today I'm doing a really, really, really fun Halloween tutorial. I'm doing Tinkerbell. And if you're being a different type of fairy, like I know they have pink fairy costumes and purple fairy costumes, you could do this look with, diff with like, if you're, if you're a pink fairy, do it with pinks. But I'm doing Tinkerbell because I like Tinkerbell a lot. Tinkerbell is awesome. And I really wish I had fairy wings, but, so I did this really pretty green look. It's beautiful. It's so fun and so crazy, and I have some, like, pixie dust on my cheeks. Some really bright pink um, cheeks, and then light pink lips. And let me zoom out. So, and I'm wearing these little Christmas... <laughs> Mickey ears because I was gonna wear like regular Mickey ears, but it didn't look very cute with this hairstyle. So I wore this little headband, and I know this is a Halloween tutorial, but I'm wearing a Christmas hat because I don't know. I figured it'd be fun. And since Tinkerbell is Disney, I just wanted to wear a little Disney little touch to it. But obviously, you'd be wearing like a fairy costume. I wore a green shirt for Tinkerbell. But yeah, I'm really excited about this tutorial. Um, I really love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let's get into it. So to start off my fairy look, I already primed my eye using Urban Decay Primer Potion just so it lasts all Halloween nights, even though I'm wearing a Christmas hat. So now for our pixie dust, I'm taking my Coastal Scents Crystallized Mica. Um, it's just crystallized mica, it doesn't have a shade. And I'm taking that on my MAC 242 brush, which I'm spraying with Fix Plus beforehand. Just so it'll stay. And this is going to be our pixie dust throughout the entire tutorial. This is vital to the fairy look. Because, you know, pixie dust, fairies, I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm going to get some of this onto my brush. I'm just going to put this all over my entire eye, pretty much. So I'm going to start off on the lid. Whoa, that looks like bright. I'm just going to put this over my entire lid. And don't be afraid. She's a lot of pixie dust. The more pixie dust, the better. It's okay if it kind of looks like that. Bring it all the way up because we want it to be very shimmery. This is going to be a little base for our entire green, green goodness. <laughs> okay. So now just, I don't know, keep doing this I guess until it looks, you know, pretty okay I guess. And now I'm going to blend this using my Coastal Sense. Um, sable blending brush just looks like this and I'm just gonna um, sweep it back and forth so it doesn't look like chunky glitter so it looks like pixie dust alright so now once you have that I'm gonna take my um, BH Cosmetics 88 cool shimmer palette I'm gonna be using my favorite green for this today I'm very excited about so, first I'm going to take this light green right here on the top. I'm going to take that on my MAC 252 brush. This is like one of the limited edition ones. My aunt actually gave it to me. Thank you, auntie. So, I'm going to get some of this on there. I'm just going to put this on top of all of that. Which I usually don't do this because this is like said to not be good. But I think it turns out really well for this tutorial. So just put this light green on your entire eye. But make sure that it, it's like lighter towards the brow bone. You don't want it to be like bright green towards the brow bone. Like focus the brighter green on the lid and then just kind of fade it up. You know what I mean? Let's fade it up. Like so. Oh my god, that looks crazy. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favorite green. If you saw my review of BH Cosmetics, you know what my favorite green is. 
It's this one right here. Favorite color ever. So I'm going to take this and mix with a little bit of this one down here on my MAC 217 brush. I put this in the crease so it doesn't all look like that because that's not the look we're going for. So just take this on your brush and put it in the crease just to add a little bit more like dimension. Fairy dimension. Magic. Yes, magic. That's the word. Okay. <laughs> So you see the dimension that looks a lot better because it's not like just like one flat color with some you know really cool pixie dust underneath. It's like like there's like the crease looks darker because we always make the crease darker. So yes, just apply like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a darker green for the outer corner. A little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> I'm using like the weirdest words. So we're going to take these bottom two greens in the middle row. Just a little bit. We don't want it to be too dark because that's not the look. And just put it in the outer corner. Now we're going to do a highlight color. I'm going to take my MAC 227 brush. Looks like this. And I'm gonna mix all like the whites in the pot. I'm gonna mix this one, this one, and this one. And you could really just take, uh, not that one, this one. So you could really just take one of these, but I felt like using all three. Because I'm weird. Okay, so just get all of these on there and highlight your brow bone and bring it down pretty far just to bring down that green a little bit so it's not as like bam. Because if you're wearing a green costume, you don't want to look like, you know, too green, even though that's pretty green. So just bring it down a little bit. This is kind of like extra pixie dust, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just apply it. And, yeah. Looking pretty good so far. I like it. So now, back to the lid, I'm going to take um, that 242 again, I'm just going to take the light green right here, mixed with a little bit of my, my favorite green, it's right there, it's the third one down, just a little of that though, I'm just going to put some a little, a little bit to lighten it up. So now for some more um, of our pixie dust. So I'm going to take a little more of my Crystal Ice Mica, 242, just put it on the middle of the lid so it's super glitter-tastic. A little more. We want this to be very shimmery. We don't want it to be matte. That's not the fairy look we're going for. Okay. So, I'm going to take a little more highlight color. Because I feel like that eye is just a lot like lighter around that area, around the brow bone. Let's just highlight your brow bone a little more if needed. Or if you want to. Or unless you want it a little more green. Then, of course, you could keep it like that. And you don't even really need to highlight. This look is like glitter galore. Oh my gosh, I love that. Glitter galore. I love it. Okay. Okay. So now that we have that. That, that is glitter galore. Gosh. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay. I'm going to take my sable blending brush again and blend this out a little more. I'm sorry this is really long, but this look is really difficult for me. And it's for Halloween, so we want it to look, I want it to look really good. And, just, you know, just right now I'm just doing touch-ups, really, anywhere I need it. Oh, 
Okay. So now that we have that, now I'm going to do liner. I'm going to take, actually this is an eyeliner, but I'll explain. So this is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Lemon, but it's green, so I don't know. Probably make, they should probably make that lime, but it's green. And I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush. This is from Studio Tools. I got it from Target a really long time ago for like $2.00. I think I have a video actually where I hauled this, so that's cool. For a really long time ago, it's so crazy. I've been doing videos for like two years. So I'm gonna do a line, I'm gonna angle it out. Because I thought that'd be really fun, especially for Halloween. So I'm going to. Why did I turn it to the window? I'm gonna line my eyes. If you have just a green eyeliner, use that, but I didn't really have one. Like a, a bright green eyeliner. So I decided to just use this because it came out really nicely actually. I really liked it. Just be careful, this might crease during the night. But we're gonna set it with some powder eyeshadow. So it's less likely. So it won't crease as much. Or fade or smudge. So, do your liner. So now that we have that pretty crazy looking right now, I'm going to take my MAC 219 pencil brush. I know, we're using a lot of brushes for this, I'm sorry. I'm just going to blend out that little wing right there a little bit. And now I'm going to take my favorite green, the third one down. I'm just going to go on top of that to set it. Okay. So now that we have that really crazy looking wing. It's actually not that crazy looking in real life. It's showing up pretty crazy on camera. I swear it does not look like that. It looks actually fairly noticeable. It just looks like you brought out your eyeshadow a little bit. So now what I'm going to do my lighting is pretty crazy. I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take my pixie dust, as I call it, on my MAC 219 brush. Just put a little under my eyes. Don't worry, we're almost done with the eyes. I know it's been forever, so long. Take my, I'm just going to call it my favorite green. It's the third one down I've showed you. And I'm just going to put that on top. And I'm going to highlight the inner corner with one of the whites in the palette, or one of the lighter colors. If you have a deeper skin tone, you could use a more, a little bit of a darker highlight so it's not as, like, harsh. Okay. So, now for liner. I mean, on the waterline, because I can't use my NYX pencil on the waterline, I'm going to take Urban Decay 24-7 in Covet or Covet, C O V E T. Looks like this. I'm just gonna put this on my waterline, which I'm not gonna show because I don't like that. Let's just put it on the waterline. The waterline is right there, it's like the inside. It doesn't hurt, don't worry. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm gonna do two coats of my MAC. Opulash mascara. Okay, it was right in front of me. I couldn't find it. I'm gonna do two coats of this. You could do some fake lashes if you want. Go really crazy on lashes for Halloween if you want to, because I know it's really fun. I'm just really bad at fake lashes, and I didn't have any, so. You could do lower lashes. And for a little more of our fairiness, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'm going to call it fairiness. Wait, it got a little comfy, so I'm going to take a spoolie. If, it, if your mascara gets comfy, you can take a spoolie and then just go through it a little bit. It's just like an empty mascara wand. So now, for our fairy twist on our lashes, too, 
I'm going to take a little more um, of the crystallized mica pixie dust stuff, 219, and just kind of dust it on the wet mascara, but make sure to go upwards so it doesn't get in your eye. Let's do this. So that is it for eyes. So now I'm going to take some more of my pixie dust, I'm going to put it on my cheekbone right here. Take a little bit on your finger, make sure it's clean, of course. And just put it on the sides right here. This is optional. I just think it adds a little more fun to the left. I'm going to blend it out. I just think it's a little more fun. I'm going to take my sable blending brush again. And I'm going to blend this. Now I'm going to take um, this green from my Cool Shimmer palette again. Take the top green and put that on top very lightly. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to take Bite of an Apple from Max Venomous Villain. This was limited edition. I'm going to take some of my MAC 129 because this is a Disney color and it's, it's super gorgeous. It's my favorite blush. It's one of my two favorites. I love this blush. I'm just going to put this on. It's just this rosy color. So I put a little on. I did a pretty, I did pretty bright blush today, but since it's Halloween, when it go all out, so I figured I'll have some fun with it. So now for lips, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics 66 Color Lip Palette. Dropped it. Has so many different lip colors. I'm going to since okay, this palette you can make so many different lip colors. There's these blues down here, and then this white right here. If you want a light pink, you could mix white with any of the colors, and it'll make it lighter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the white glittery one. It's a silvery white glittery color. I'm gonna put this on my lips with my finger. You could just apply these using your finger. It's fine. And now I'm going to take a pink. I'm going to use this light pink right here, the second one. My finger again. And put that on top. We don't want to do a dark lip for this look because the eyes are very, very crazy. So you don't want to go too crazy. You could always, you know, put some pixie dust on your lips if you like. But I'm just going to leave it like this. And I have these super pretty pink nude, really natural looking lips. And you, I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the white and hide it in the middle for a highlight. So that is it for my Tinkerbell fairy inspired Halloween tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Bye!